Jason continues, is there a way to convert a Premiere sequence into a Final Cut project yet still have adjustable subtitles? And by adjustable, he means being able to change the duration, the location, or the content of a subtitle. The answer is yes. And here's the steps. First, you export an XML of the Premiere sequence. Then you export a caption file separately as an SRT file. Third, convert the XML for Final Cut using Send to X. Fourth, import the converted XML into Final Cut. And fifth, import the captions. You can end up with two files. One is the file for your edit, and the other is the file for your captions. It's possible to move files from Premiere to Resolve and export from Resolve to to Final Cut, but it is not as accurate, tends to cause errors, and it is not as fast. Let me show you how all this works. Here's a project. It's Dr. Surf talking about things kids need to know. And just because I can, I'm going to cut the clip right here, just so I've got two different clips. Think of this as a complex edit. The process is the same, whether this is 30 seconds long or 30 minutes long. So once I've got my project, my sequence done, I go up to the File menu, go down to Export, and select Final Cut Pro XML. This is how you get your project out of Premiere and into anywhere else. I'm going to call it the name of the project. I've got a place to store it. Click Save, and it exports the edit, but does not export the captions. To get the captions out, we go File, Export, Captions. Remember, it's got to be two files. We're going to export as a SRT file, sub-rip subtitle format, and click OK. It says where. I'm going to put it in the same folder. And now we'll hide Premiere. This is the Send to X application. It says, what do you want to convert? I want to convert the XML file that I exported out of Premiere into Final Cut. Okay, it's going to convert it. It opens up Final Cut and says, what do you want to do? Because I want to make this really simple, I'm going to put this in a new project. And there's Dr. Surf. And let's just double click it. Where to go? There it is. There's Dr. Surf. And there's my two clips. Saw the cut that I put in. But although this is my edit with all everything applied to it, it's not the captions. Captions have to be imported a second step. So I'm going to import captions and click on the caption file. And now there's my captions. I can change the duration. I can open them up and I can edit it. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 378. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software when you update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.